Hey folks, quick video about this hybrid filament I found uh, that's marketed as a TPU, but it's actually a TPU nylon blend. And there's a couple of things, I guess, to do with toughness and heat deflection temperature from the blend. It's sold as a 72D scale, which is harder than a 95 Shaw A scale hardness. I've made these parts in a hurry with a one millimeter nozzle, not worried about quality. I just wanted something to test uh, as part of another assembly I'm building at the moment for a gallery, a large two meter high piece that can't afford to fall over and break. Um, this is traditional 95A that's been dried for a long period of time. Uh, and it's completely solid, 12 millimeters thick, half an inch in, in freedom units, the old money. This is the 72D part and it feels almost like a, a mechanically dumb version of PETG or slight, slightly flexible. But when I really put, and that's probably a couple of kilograms of weight through my arm on that, it almost returns memory-wise back to its, its standard position. Um, I didn't dry this before running it. The sidewall finish is much, much better and see if i can focus this i played with the temperature so you can see a real shift in the, the outer wall diameter there so calibration and drying i think may end up being the key um, stuck great to a 50 degree celsius bed with glue you can still see some white glue on there i use a straight glass bed on my 800 millimeter printer apparently uh drone Aerial drone makers are using this for semi-flexible bodies, which I believe because I just I can't see any part that's going to get a, a drop or an impact ever breaking with this. Um, I think it's it's going to be a really interesting part. I wouldn't be surprised, and I haven't tested this yet, but at 72D, I would think this would probably run through an AMS and it will be interesting to compare it to some of the bamboo AMS compatible uh, material when that gets here, which I think is marketed in the, in the 60-ish D scale. Anyway, uh, what else? Sold direct on Amazon from the supplier. I think I paid about 30 Australian dollars per roll for two rolls delivered, which is about 24 US bucks at the moment. Uh, so not heckin' expensive. There is another video uh, testing it out for its properties and it looks like its heat deflection temperature uh, is a bit higher than PETG as well, which probably isn't surprising uh, given it's got nylon in it. I guess the benefit is I'm printing this on a massive open frame printer at 50 degrees Celsius on the bed it's about five degrees Celsius here in uh, Southern Australia at the moment. It's snowing not far away. So the ability to make this on an open frame machine and have such a mechanically tough part, uh, I think is probably gonna have a lot of applications for me. We'll wait and see.